Mike with Skipper Buds in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. I want to give you a quick walkthrough of the 2021 Tierra 49 Coupe. This is the second boat produced in the 2021 model year. Overall, this is hull number 26. The theme of this boat was elegance. We did it in all white. It has some uh, nice, great touches in the uh, exterior here. Nautical structures, 1,200 pound capacity swim platform. Underwater lights, I doubt you can see them in the sunlight right now. We have tie downs, and these four holes here are to accommodate dinghy chalks for your wave runner or jet ski. Kenyan grill here on the transom. We also have the isotherm uh, refrigerator drawer unit back here. That could also be storage if you wanted. Here's a large storage garage in here. Um, this is power actuated, comes up and down with a hatch button located on the side here. These two metal bars that are secure, those are actually additional supports for the make fast sunshade that's just above my head. Um, here, underwater lights if you have a color. So the color rotates through uh, a bunch of different colors. If you find a color you enjoy, you turn it off, you turn it back on and it'll stay on that color. Also, here's your swim platform button. You can see it looks like we have a bluish purple underwater light thing going on. All the way back up. Okay. So this is a um, first for the coupe series. This is a port side walkthrough. The other coupes have been walkthroughs on both sides, but this really gives us additional seating back here, giving us this full L lounge. With this aft facing seat, there's storage underneath this aft facing seat. This big piece of hardware here is a mount for the television for back here. This is an option, it's a pretty cool option. This is an additional joystick on the aft of the boat. It's in the correct spot, it's on the port side. So theoretically you have a joystick on the starboard side where you have full vision. This will give you full vision of the port side when docking. Also full vision of the transom. So right here, really easy to use. Here you can see the inch and a quarter uh, 316 stainless bow rail. Beautiful teak. Look at the reflection in that teak. You could shave in the reflection of that. Stunning. And then I have this compartment open here. Uh, so you have all this storage in the back. And then this has, uh, it's a very large storage area, but it actually has a false floor in it. So it's actually twofold what you see here. You lift up uh, using those holes and you have just as much storage below as you do above. So they took a lot of time and care in storage in this boat. There is the Make Fast Sunshade and the uh, Garmin rear parking camera. Look at that beautiful 43 LSTR right there. Stunning boat as well. Uh, taking a look at the galley. It's a two-part galley port and starboard. See a wine chiller. We have a cooktop underneath that cover. We have a sink with a garbage disposal. I often get asked why the green piece of glass on the port side, but not on the starboard side. The reason for that tinted glass there is a uh, kind of a splatter shield from the cooktop. We have a convection oven. We have a refrigerator, refrigerator freezer with an ice maker. In this cabinet right here, you've got your battery switches and your shore power and generator switch and then your generator on off. Underneath this seat here is the main distribution panel. And then one thing that people always ask me about is where are the GFIs? So right here on the back wall, it's kind of difficult to see, but there are all the GFIs for the boat. It's actually a pretty genius. They put them there so you're not searching for them inside of a bathroom cabinet or something. Beautiful U-shaped couch area. Once again, look at the teak. Look at the reflection on the high gloss teak. And then also real teak floors, critical match teak ties in really well with the beech wood, so the gray is the beech wood. Two and a half wide stid seat here, leading to the helm. Very comfortable seat for long trips. 
so glass cockpit that's basically gonna give you all your navigation all your um, media functions your backup camera engine room camera um, and also all your engine functions are all tied into there and it's all if you look at this notice it is a Garmin unit but it is a Volvo part so that's pretty important so everything from the glass cockpit to the to the throttles to the joystick to the mouse all the way down to the drive engines transmissions it's all one company so it's all Volvo Penta uh, Seakeeper Seakeeper 9 in here you can see we are almost 100% spooled up and it looks like we can turn it on there we go they're activated now that's going to eliminate about 90% of the roll the visibility on this boat is amazing so from the helm seat you're sitting up high and with all of this glass around you the visibility the docking maneuvering and just enjoying the environment are fantastic these large manual opening windows here I have them open right now gives you great communication with the dock on both sides also gives an immense amount of air and you tie that in with this beautiful sunroof here uh, really gives you a feeling that you're outdoors the roof is pneumatic essentially using a caliber horn air pump and you'll see that it won't shut all the way in these little gap that's just uh, prevent people from getting injured you just retap the button and it'll fully close underneath the uh, home seat here you have your fresh water and wastewater gauge high water bilge alarm your heat and air conditioning units and then television unit and so this boat is equipped with um, KVH uh, wiring and with the mast but it doesn't have the boxes yet or the dome so those would have to be added that's a dealer ad not at the factory but absolutely fantastic vessel why don't we go take a look downstairs okay we're downstairs in the 2021 49 coupe what we're looking at here is the third stateroom option this is the pole uh, Pullman bunk option you could also get this as a utility room where you get a stackable washer dryer you can also get this with the curtain versus the hard bulkhead this is the VIP stateroom in true tier fashion hinged bed along for a ton of storage and also another great drawer huge drawer here the bed. Tierra really utilized all the space for storage on this boat. Cedar line hanging locker. This is your day head, full stand up shower. Beautiful teak treatments. I love the tile, mix them with the sink. I love the materials they use. So, this is referred to as Chili Witch. Um, very durable beautiful product it's gonna stand the test of time here is the entrance to the day head from the hallway here and a beautiful use of the teak and beechwood so the the gray is the beechwood and the, the brown is the teak I think it goes very well together now this is what makes this boat Full beam master, great ventilation and light, portholes and large windows on both sides, ton of headroom. So for the most part, someone who's six foot seven can walk through almost every part of this boat. Hanging lockers behind that door right here. And then this is the washer and dryer combo unit. So just forward of the bed. And then this is the master head. Once again, beautiful tile work, beautiful teak, stand up shower, beech wood. Fantastic vessel. So this boat is 50 feet, three inches LOA length overall. And then it has a 15 foot, four inch beam. So it's extremely wide. Boat weighs just a little over 41,000 pounds dry. 500 pound or 500 gallon fuel capacity. Fantastic. Great Lakes boat, that's for sure.